Okay, so this YouTube user uh, had this code that they had a problem with, basically the emailing attachment. So let's take a look at why this isn't working. So I've copied their code here, um, just straight in, exactly what they gave me, copied it in. Okay, so we'll save that, and let's load it up here to email.php. First thing I notice, the page doesn't load. So to fix that, um, I've already looked at the file, but I believe if we go to our error log here, uh, let's see, logs, error log, all the way down at the bottom, we get uh, unexpected end on line 72. So we go to line 72, which is probably the end of the file, which it is, but I've known, so, well here, I'll actually show you what I did. So this needs to move over and then all this needs to move over. So I'm basically doing the indents so I can see what's going on right now. So I take all this stuff, all of this stuff goes into the uh, that in array function and then this is there, this closes the in array function, this goes inside of there, inside of there, and that goes there. Now you can see that there's one spot left, so this bracket right here closes this if empty and no bracket closes this. So there's a PHP error right there, so I need to close that. So now save and refresh, and boom, there we get our form. Okay, now there's a couple other things wrong with this. Um, first thing I noticed is that, see these UIDs? You can't just straight use uh, words like this. You actually, they have to be variable. See, we set the variable here, UID. So these are need to be dollar sign UID, dollar sign UID, and dollar sign UID. Okay, so there's those. Um, there's two other issues um, that I noticed when comparing to the original document that I made, which is this one. Um, the content disposition, no, right here, content transfer encoding uh, is like this, right? See that? Content-transfer-encoding. Uh, in this file, we have content-transfer-underscore-encoding, which is, it needs to be a dash. And then this TXT for context right here, if we go back to mine, it's actually uh, type text slash, okay? So it actually needs to be slash text. Um, so slash text right there and that means that yes yeah, so that dash is correct so dash encoding and this txt needed to be written out in the text and so that cool so let's save that and see if it works so uh, your so let's refresh this your email I'm gonna do um, Sean at square bracket dot com and I'm gonna send a, um, a picture through send and if all goes well then I should be getting a email in a second. No? Okay, so we still have a problem in the file. Um, other things that are different, um, I noticed that this MIME version, so let's take a look at my MIME version right here, MIME-version colon 1.0. This one, MIME-version no colon, so we need to add a colon there. Um, let's see what else. Uh, over here, this file name, backslash r backslash n, on mine I have another backslash r backslash n after that so let's go ahead and add that in there make sure things are consistent okay uh, so we have that good uh, what else let's make sure these are just spaced right um, oh yeah so the other big thing that is actually I have a problem this is not not his problem my problem is loading index.php it needs to load the same file which is email.php so that's just my thing okay so that actually probably could have been a problem alright enter and go to here and attach a file and hit send and with any luck there we go file sent received and there's the arrow with the attachment okay so the main problems were and actually let's take out the, those last two and see if those weren't the problem so I got rid of the MIME version and I got rid of the, those two extra R's and N's and let's put this back to email.php and let's see if it still sends because I think those don't matter let's try that one more time send success and we get the email okay so those didn't matter actually that did matter because check that out we just get a giant dump okay so actually those did matter so let's take a look um, let's see if it was the backslash r backslash n that mattered save that come back here enter go ahead and do one more let's see if this works send and get an email and it's a giant dump so that probably didn't matter let's get rid of that one more time this mime type mime version make that a colon and we'll come back here hit enter and let's try this one more time this should be 
this should be the golden right here send and we get email and there's our arrow okay so that was the problem and could not open because the object is empty interesting let's see if that happens again maybe it's just the image that I have messed up um, let's try doing arrow open this time send here and okay so we're still having arrow an error so let's actually put the backslash r backslash n again see if that actually gives us a success here uh, square bracket and let's send arrow open send and there we go email and actually there's the image okay so those were all necessary so you needed to have the extra backslash r backslash n um, you needed to have the dollar sign in front of the UIDs you needed to have the dash here you needed to spell out the word text your MIME version needed a colon and you were missing a curly brace down here so that was the problems with this file but now it works and sends with an attachment